The one habit that guarantees your success in life. Looking around me to see those we started life together, one thing is obvious. I'm very much successful than most of them. Could that be because I work harder than everyone? No. Maybe it's because I was born by wealthy parents. <laughs> Far from it. Or luck. Nah, I don't think so. Instead, I believe that my success is as a result of one important habit. I believe if you have this habit, your success is almost guaranteed and that's what I want to show you in this video. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now let's get into it. As a young guy, I discovered one thing about myself and that is whatever I wanted to get, nothing in the realm of man ever stopped me. That I want something means that I will go at any length and sacrifice anything under morality to get it. You may call it stubbornness, but I call it persistence. In my humble opinion, persistence is the single most important attribute of anyone who has ever become successful. I think that's the reason why Calvin Coolidge said, Nothing in this world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. The slogan, press on, has solved and always will solve the problems of the human race. Press on. It's amazing how easily people give up their dreams. Most human beings cannot even endure failures more than twice. When they try things a few times and it doesn't work, they look around for who to blame. It may be the government, the economy or their parents. Well, if you really want to be successful, you must be willing to press on, no matter how difficult the journey is. Winston Churchill said, Success is stumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. That's what it is, stumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. Don't be deceived by the movies. Some movies show us wealthy people without the details of the hell that these people went through to create the wealth. Some that try to show us the hustling parts do so in a few scenes so we may not be able to really see and have the feel of what it takes to achieve success. Here is the reality. It's hell. It's tough. It's a long walk and you have to be willing to pay the price of persistence if truly you want to be successful. Reason Beyond the News Coverage In our society, newsmen don't cover your life when you are failing. And that makes sense because everyone is failing. However, there's a problem that comes when we suddenly read about a man who invented a new technology, built a great company or became a successful human rights activist. Something in us envies such men. We tend to think, why wasn't that me? We tend to think that such men are lucky and we are not. Well, most times those men were not different from us. These men are usually ordinary men with extraordinary persistence. Oftentimes, these men have spent their last one or two decades in secret discipline. Some of these men have not been living for pleasure for many years. Many of them have devoted their lives to crazy studies and experiments. Many of them have failed hundreds of times and decided never to look back. But the news media would never let us see these. So we are likely to envy these guys thinking that they are successful by chance. For instance, Napoleon Hill interviewed more than 500 self-made millionaires and spent more than 20 years doing so before he wrote Think and Grow Rich, which ended up becoming one of the best financial books ever. As an inventor, Edison made 1,000 unsuccessful attempts at inventing the light bulb and to really have a clearer picture of who Edison was, we have to remember that he acquired a record number of 1,093 patents in his lifetime. Nothing is wrong with you. We can go on and on to tell you the stories of people who have spent their lives and achieved worthwhile success and will come to this same conclusion. The road that leads to heaven is as hot as hell. Success is only achieved by going through failure after failure without losing your enthusiasm. So, when you try to pursue your goal and fail, you dare not think that something is wrong with you. No, nothing is wrong with you. 
You're simply going through the normal process everyone who has ever achieved anything worthwhile goes through. Not only that, nothing is wrong with you. You shouldn't blame anyone for your failures. How blaming cripple us Let's imagine this. I'm poor and I think it's the fault of the president of my country, so I blame the political leaders for my woe. What do you think I'm actually saying in essence? <laughs> well, here are my words. I'm poor because the government is bad. If the government becomes better, I'll be rich. Whenever you blame anyone for your woes, what you're saying in essence is that when or if such people change, your life will be better. The one problem about such thinking is that you don't have any control over what other people do. Take for instance, if you think that the government is the reason why you are poor and you're waiting for one day when the government will change and implement policies that will make you rich, then I'm sorry because such day may never come or it may be the next 50 years when you are too old or dead. If it's outside you, it's beyond you. There are two categories of people in the world. Those who look in and those who look out. Those who look in look at whatever is in their power to change their situations. Those who look out look at what others have failed to do for them. Needless to say, those who look out always miss out in the game of life because they will always be disappointed. You will always be disappointed if you look out because nobody truly can help you solve your personal problems. To start with, nobody actually cares about you. The simple law that may help you here is never depend on the external factors. Do whatever you can to change your life, no matter how long or rough it takes. Stay focused, be determined, remain stubborn until you get what you want out of life. Think about the kids As at the time of making this video, I have a 9 month old kid. Looking at the life of this little creature can teach all of us the big lesson about persistence. Watch how kids learn how to sit. Watch how they learn to crawl. Watch how they learn to stand, walk, talk or write. None of these achievements come to them by luck. None is automatic. All have to be attained by trials, errors and failures. Except a child persist, he will never crawl. Except a child persist, he will never talk or write. Except a child persist, she will never learn or grow her mind. Children achieve all they do by persistence. If we as adults think there's any other way to achieve success other than persisting, we are simply fooling ourselves. You want success? You'll experience several failures. The only way out is the way of persistence. Let me leave you with a quote of Roy T. Bennett. It doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down. All that matters is you get up one more time than you were knocked down. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now look at your screen to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.